you, Trevor. Honestly, that set just blew the crowd away. We actually were very emotional watching it. Oh, really? I think coming back from lockdown and yeah. then missing live music as we have to then listen to that, that was incredible. How, how was it for you out there? Well, it was, it was actually quite emotional for us because uh, we've only, it's only the second show. We, we've had so many shows cancelled this summer. We didn't even know if we were going to be able to do this one. And we did Rewind two weeks ago, and then six of the guys got COVID. And so it was, I've been in lockdown with, you know, with my girlfriend for the past eight. So coming back and getting on the stage and playing was great fun, you know? Yeah. And the uh, thing is, we all love playing. We're all, that's what we do all the time, you know? So, so during lockdown, were you keeping busy creating music still? Oh, yeah, or? yeah, I'm, I'm making a new album uh, of, of uh, different versions of songs from the 80s at the moment. That's all anybody seems to want. Oh, Trevor Hall reimagines the 80s. Not that, another one of not those. Not so no? this, is, this is the 80s chill. Only a few instruments, but different versions. It's quite interesting, actually. Yeah. I didn't like the idea at first, but I've been working on it for a while. And it's, I've got a couple of good things now, so I'm quite happy. So which artists have you got involved with that? I don't know yet. I might be multi-artist or I might be one, you know, I don't know. I've made my mind up. And you're, you're reimagining the 80s album. That went down very well. It se yeah, it seemed to. I mean, I see, the thing is, those things often work much better if, you, if you're a dance producer, you know. But I produce lots of different kinds of things. That's why the band, if you think about it, we went from playing fast rock, fast dance to swing beat you know funk it's they're all such good musicians i'm really lucky you know that's an incredible band up there and the singers with you were yeah. amazing too yeah well ryan was in jersey boys playing frankie <laughs> valley for years you know I've seen that. yeah all the, all, all the singers apart from me and my band all sing in tune <laughs> they're all good singers you know <laughs> anniversary recently of mtv yeah. And obviously your song was the first one played on yeah. MTV. When you created that song, did you have any idea how good it was and what an impact it would have on the world as a video and as a song? You know, it always makes me laugh when people take credit for writing things because, you know, the line, video killed the radio star, just popped in my head. So I can't, you know, I didn't think about it for a long time. I knew it was good. And then when we first made the record, I knew the record was good. Uh, I didn't realize it would do as well as it did. I didn't think people would still like it, you know, 40 years later. But I'm, thank God, I'm glad, you know. Yeah. And it must have been a real honor to be the first video played on MTV. Did you realize the enormity of it at the time? Well, it's, I guess it's something in history. It was perfect for them, you know. But, you know, when, when you do these things, you have no idea. But, I, you know, and by the time I finished the, the actual record, I was so sick of it, you know. But yeah. it stayed with me for ages. So you produced the I produced the 12, 12 inch, and they did it in my, in me and my late wife's studio. Yeah. So you, were you asked originally to do the, the main song? No, I, no? I, I would know. It was mid year. If I'd have done the main song, it would have taken too long. I was a total perfectionist back then. And, that record would have never done it for me, you know, so. But, you know, they used the studio and then I made the 12 inch. Uh, that must have been great to be involved in that. Well, that was definitely a moment in time, that's for sure. I've never seen so many lead singers in a room at the same time, you know. You've worked with so many people over the years, from Frankie Goes to Hollywood, to Pet Shop Boys, to Sealed, so it's just numerous. Is there any act that stands out for you as, as an act that you're really proud of the work you've done with them? Oh, well, you know, most of the records I've made I'm proud of, but I suppose I really like the Seal records I've made. Seal. I love those records. Frankie Goes to Hollywood was like sort of rock dance, techno, and that's not my favourite music, uh, but I, I really like Seal, you know? You've been touring with Dire Straits Legacy, have you? Yeah, just because I like playing the bass. It's like, you know, and Dire Straits Legacy have got some really great musicians. It's like the be one of the best, two best rock drummers in the world. You know, and when you're a bass player, you play with the drummer. You can't give a damn about the rest of the band. God bless them, they're all fine, but it's the drummer you play with. And there's a guy called, 
the guy that plays in uh, Dire Straits Legacy is a guy called Steve Ferroni, and he's like fantastic drumming, you know, so I love playing with him. Yeah. That's why I do it. Yeah, love the music. Now, yeah. Are you touring with them at the moment? Have you got No, we just out? had two tours cancelled. But we're going to do a Roma gig. We're going to play before the, Ro the, the Italian football season kicks off in the Roma Stadium yeah. oh. for half an hour. Oh, that'll be fantastic. That'll be fun. Yeah, yeah I'm looking forward to it. Thank you so much. I could speak to you forever, but I'll let you go and enjoy Billy. All right, thanks a lot. Thank thanks. you so much. Remember, everybody in Rewind.